My name is Justin Broussard. I play defensive end for Southwestern University. Uh, we had a coach come down. He uh, talked to me and my friend Jamal. He sat us down in my head coach's office and he told us all about Southwestern. And I had never heard about the school, but he told us about it and he kept sending us letters and kept calling us. So I decided to come up on a visit. And whenever I came up on my visit, I really loved the campus. It was beautiful. The coaches seemed like genuine guys. Everybody was really nice. They seemed like they cared. So I decided to become a pirate. What Justin Broussard's accomplished in the past few years is, is, uh, is fairly remarkable for a young guy to enter a program that's starting from the ground up. What he brings to the defensive line, to our defense, is energy, effort, um, and the hustle, which is sometimes a generic term used when it comes to sports, but he plays the same way every play. First, I get down in my stance, and I look to my left, and I see that ball, and as soon as that ball moves, I want to be the first person to move. I want to move before the offense. I'm looking and there's a tackle in front of me. Honestly, like I don't even like want him to touch me. I just want to run right past him because I'm going so fast. Or I just want to go right through him and just pick him up and just sit him in the lap of the quarterback. I love that. <laughs> We met playing select basketball, and this was when he was a lot bigger, when he was younger. Uh, but he lost a lot of weight, and I was telling the, some of the freshman guys like a story about me and Justin, and how one day we had a game in high school. I hadn't seen him for like a good three years, and uh, we had a game. We were playing against him in high school. It was like my sophomore or junior year, and I was about to hike the ball, and he was standing on the other side of the ball at linebacker, and I was like, "Is that? That's Justin." And he made the play, got the tackle, and then like I went up to him right after the play and shook his hand and dabbed him up and everything. The thing that translated well for him was, was his effort, was his ability. Um, Justin was a high school linebacker at a small school um, in Beaumont um, and played at multiple different positions. He was kind of a big athlete in the middle of the field, and his skill set was going to translate well just moving him closer to the ball. I think that was the, the simplest thing for us. And he was also a kid that when we brought it up to him in the recruiting process, he didn't question it. He said, you know, how can I help the team out from day one? And we put him closer to the ball. He's developed extremely well. Um, and his effectiveness is, uh, is a product of his, uh, his hard work. I just have to keep working hard. I don't really know too much about the other guys that I'm competing against. And it's not really about being first. It's just about putting my team in a position to win. If I can go out there and get a sack a game and we win every game, then that's cool. And if, and if I don't get any sacks, that's cool. As long as my team is winning and we're all making plays and having a great time out there, that's all that matters to me. Are, are you surprised at his success here? Not at all. Not surprised at all. That, that man, he, when we met playing basketball in the sixth grade up till the eighth grade, we played with each other on the same team. It was always me and him boxing out each other, going against each other in drills because he was the biggest guy on the court and I was the tallest guy on the court. And he just, he always had the work ethic of just being the dog on any, any given day. He leads by example, you know. Um, he's somewhat soft-spoken, um, but when Brew's on the field, um, when he's around the locker room, um, kids definitely look, look up to him. They look forward to seeing how he acts on the field. Um, and through his efforts, um, we can definitely build around a, um, a, great, a great person, a great member of this program. First, I'd just like to thank God. And secondly, I've had great family and great friends and great coaches. My coaches have put me in great positions to make plays. And uh, lastly, just my work ethic. Like, I take pride on going in every day, going as hard as I can. You can ask anybody around here. I'm gonna give him my all every play and I just wanna lead that, like give that to my guys so that maybe they can follow and give me everything that I give them. Mm -hmm.